Okay. Hi, this is Dr. Paul Goldberg of the Goldberg Clinic. We are here today with uh, Miss Natalie Dewar, who is from Ed Edwardsville, mm -hmm. Illinois. And uh, Natalie came today with her father to get a, a um, re-examination from us. She came originally back, it was in November, mm -hmm. Natalie, in November of last year, in uh, 2013, and uh, came to us with some uh, fairly significant uh, issues. What, what were the issues you, you came to us with, Natalie? I was having lots of digestion problems, chronic fatigue, that was one of the main things, and eczema and severe acne breakouts. You had eczema, uh, severe acne breakouts, uh, chronic fatigue, retired a lot, mm -hmm. and you had digestive issues, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, those are actually problems with the skin, problems with the GI tract, fatigue. Uh, these are all issues that are quite commonly seen together. And uh, rather than patients who are often, oftentimes they come, patients come to us and they're seeing the dermatologist and they're seeing the gastroenterologist and they're seeing the internist, somebody for the skin, somebody from the stomach, somebody from this and for that. These problems we find are usually interrelated. So if we get down to the core issues, oftentimes we're able to address them simply and effectively. Now, Natalie, remind me also, when you came in, you had had, was it an ultrasound? You had a study of your gallbladder. Mm -hmm. and, and what? tell us about that. What was that about? Um, they thought maybe I was having some issues with my gallbladder because I was having a lot of pain in my side. And they found that I had sludge. Sludge, the infamous sludge. Mm -hmm. So you had sludge in your gallbladder. Mm -hmm. Were they making any specific uh, um, recommendations in regards to the sludge? Uh-huh. They wanted to do a CT HIDA scan to look at the functioning, and they were most likely wanting, I mean, they wanted to take it out. The gallbladder. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to expose you to a high amount of radiation with a CT scan, and mm -hmm. then remove one of your organs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, fortunately, you didn't do, did you? I, no, I did not. Okay. Well, let's talk about, so you came down there with these problems, the digestive issues, the chronic fatigue, the gallbladder sludge. Um, the skin issues, which I think were a particular concern for you, as with many people, because that actually shows, you can see that on your face, mm -hmm. the eczema and the acne. And when you came down here, um, what, uh, was, what were your major objectives? And those were your problems and your objectives were what? I wanted to get well. Um, I wanted to have the energy. It, with being in graduate school, I wanted to have the ener my and energy. And what are you energy. studying, by the way? Speech language pathology. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I wanted my skin to improve. I just wanted to feel normal again, be back to normal. Yeah. That was my main. And and we see quite a few people now, Natalie. You're 22. Mm -hmm. 22 years old, and we see quite a few young people who are developing these problems. And unfortunately, if they follow a, a we find if they find a medical pathway, they oftentimes get a lot of a lot of issues and. Uh, negative consequences. For example, Natalie was facing the possibility not only continuation of these issues, uh, but also having her gallbladder removed. What was the medical approach to all these issues uh, prior to your coming to, to see us? Antibiotics. Antibiotics. And how many courses of antibiotics had you been on? Too many. <laughs> I Too don't many even to know. count? Yeah, I was on a lot because I was prescribed one and then I got it infection from most likely from that and then I had to be prescribed another antibiotic and it was kind of like a vicious cycle. Yeah and, and we see this quite and those antibiotics were being prescribed for your skin. Skin first and then um, from that I had like a UTI that I had to be which was probably caused by the ones from the skin and then um, there was another one in there too. I don't even remember what it was for. And, and that's what happens when we start addressing problems by addressing symptoms. And too often with antibiotics, and we see this with steroids and other drugs too, one drug follows another drug and then a drug to deal with those side effects of that drug. And, and meanwhile, the patient doesn't really get a hold on what are, the, what are the conditions actually creating the health problem so they can address it. What have been the results of your following the advice that we've given you here at the clinic? I've seen major improvements in my energy, um, my skin especially. That's kind of what I was watching to see. I mean, my digestive system um, issues resolved fairly quickly. Um, 
but I was really watching my skin to see like once that went away, like my eczema is completely gone or eczema, it's completely gone. Your eczema is completely um, gone mm -hmm. now. Uh -huh. And my face is cleared up for the most part, like significantly. Okay. There's been a significant. All right. Eczema. So, and, and this would be a, a, a sequence we would normally expect is your digestive problems first improve, which allows the proper digestive carbohydrate and protein and fat. So you're able to absorb those nutrients along with vitamins and minerals. And then as that happens, as you're transforming food into healthy flesh, then other problems start to clear up too, such as your skin, which now looks quite good. Thank you. Yeah. And you, did you go through kind of a rough time at first when you started following our advice? And this, you know, is a, is a, is a major uh, challenge that we have at our clinic, is people need to understand that sometimes as they begin a program, and we're starting to undo the damage that's been done and clear out waste products, there is going to be some bumps on the journey, as we call them. Tell us a little bit about what happened with you when you started following the uh, plan that we gave you. I, I got sick quite a few times, and it seemed like every time I got sick, I would feel a little bit better afterwards. Right. And get sick again. And, but I, had, I knew this was kind of coming. Um, so, and everyone else, you know, who was watching was like, why are you getting sick all the time? Are they really helping you? My husband questioned a lot whether or not I was actually getting better. Yes, I remember, I remember Dr. Tenner saying you talked with your husband a uh -huh. few times. This is over a relatively short period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was getting really frustrated because I kept getting sick. And I'm like, just wait, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting better. I know I am. Um, so, and I think since the last time I really turned a corner, and I felt significantly better. And in fact, you went, you went back to the hospital, you checked at one point, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had this, my body was basically like purging. It seemed like it was just purging. It was purging, yes. Bunch of things out. For like a week, I was just really, really sick. And we almost did a physical exorcism on you there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The main reason I went to the hospital was because I was just really dehydrated. I couldn't keep any fluids in. But after that, I felt... Great. Did they did they look at that gallbladder again at any point? Yes, I forgot to mention that. They did. They did another ultrasound on the gallbladder because they thought maybe it was causing... So this gallbladder that was all full of sludge before you came to see us, mm -hmm. they did a follow-up gallbladder ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And what was the result of that? It was clear. It was clear. No more sludge. No more sludge. Yeah. So, you know, as the cells have the opportunity, we're creating the right conditions for health, and the cells begin to unload their toxic waste, including things such as sludge, and now in this case from your gallbladder, then patients are going to experience some symptoms. And you know, some people at that point get very worried, like, and your husband didn't, we understand why, we have to kind of talk people through that. And you had the uh, good sense and the determination to see it through. And now we're here we are about four months later, and if we were to look at the overall percentage improvement uh, your fatigue, your skin issues, um, the eczema, the acne, the gallbladder sludge, and just the general way that you feel, about what percent improvement are we looking at at this point? I would say 90%. We're real happy to hear that, 90% improvement. And the best thing about all this is that we hope at the Goldberg Clinic that now we're going to give Natalie the tools that she needs so that she doesn't have to be dependent on any doctors in the future, including, by the way, us, Dr. Tenner and myself, so that she can turn uh, health care into self-care. And that's the way we see it here. We're not into all kinds of government health care or private health care. We really like to see patients uh, learn to do the right things so they can put health care in their own hands. I want to thank you very much for coming today. And also, can you put the, the video camera on? Natalie's father, uh, Mr. Mortimer. Mr. Mortimer, thank you for coming also. And can I ask you also, sir, have you seen improvements in your daughter? Absolutely. Okay. Big improvements. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mortimer. Thank you, thank Natalie. You. Very happy to all the improvements that you've had.